This lady, um, whose name is Ocean Ramsey, has been diving with great white sharks to show that they're not deserving of the sort of murderous reputation they have. Which is quite a mental thing to do. I've uh, swum a few times with sharks, um, uh, once with great white sharks in a, uh, in a cage, very much in a cage, and they're amazing, terrifying things. Firstly, they're incredibly streamlined. It's a really simple air, sort of dynamic shape which has worked for millions of years and it's basically they're quite flattened top to bottom and sort of shaped like a te teardrop whereas fish are more flattened side to side um, and as you can see that they swim through the water like that. The other thing about sharks is that they have up to six rows of teeth uh, which are constantly growing throughout their lives they're not like ours which drop out and we're done there's at the back a new set starts growing and grows forward and then eventually the, the used ones drop out like that um, also their skeletons aren't made of bones like ours are they're made of cartilage which is sort of softer and more flexible which makes them more agile as they swim it also means sadly that they don't fossilize very well so we don't know very much about the very earliest sharks the largest predatory shark uh, alive at the moment is, uh, is the great white obviously um, and that's a fairly impressive sort of 15 to 18 feet long and uh, weighs about two tons. But up until two million years ago, the largest shark ever lived um, and that was called Megalodon and it was about 70 feet long and weighed about 50 tons. What's incredible is how long this system has worked for. Sharks have remained largely unchanged as far as we can tell for about 420 million years. To put that into context, our first ancestors, which would have been sort of fish-like things on little legs, came out of the sea about 400 million years ago. So. For the entire time that our ancestors have been on land, since the dinosaurs first arose until the dinosaurs died and for all the rest of the time in between, there have been sharks in the Earth's oceans.